Credit Guarantee Corporation Malaysia Berhad, or CGC, held its 27th FIDFI and SME Awards 2021 in Kuala Lumpur on Friday. The annual event since 1995 aims to recognise CGC's financial partners as well as micro, small and medium enterprises for their exemplary records in meeting their financial excellent credit track record and business success. Maybank Islamic Berhad! Congratulations once again! Maybank emerged as the biggest winner with three awards for its Islamic division and one award for Malayan Banking Berhad. So we're quite pleased with the recognition given by CGC. It's the effort by the team. It's definitely a team effort. And we will continue to support uh, the MSMEs in terms of their recovery, in terms of their business, in terms of their growth. So we are uh, quite pleased to be able to actually partner with the CGC uh, in terms of their programs to actually ensure that the MSMEs uh, actually recover as quickly and as swiftly as possible. A total of 31 awards were given out, with 14 in the SME award category and 16 in the financial category. There was also a new category this year that recognises non-financial institutions for assisting MSMEs in obtaining financing. This award went to Asiata Digital Capital, Sundram Berhad. In terms of the category for the non-FIs, this is basically to to make further inroads into providing access to financing to the unserved and underserved. That's the general idea. So I think the more and more people uh, provide financing or access to financing to this, it is, it, then we can actually reach out to more Malaysians. And in fact, we are very much excited into, into the, with regard to the announcement made by Banagara Malaysia on the five digital bank licenses. And that is, if I recall correctly, Axiata, Grab, CAF, Aeon, as well as uh, SEAYTL. And we have actually met up with all the top management team members in all these five digital banks, and we look forward to working with them uh, in terms of providing our guarantee to, the, to them for them to lend to the unserved and underserved when they get into operation in the next 15 to 24 months. Finance Minister Datuk Sri Tengku Zafro Abdul Aziz, who graced the event, says a strong MSME sector contributes to a stronger Malaysian economy and these companies must grow beyond digitalization. So apart from digitalization, it's also extremely important for MSMEs to embrace ESG principles. It's also critical that you play an active role in facilitating the transition of MSMEs to low carbon and sustainable practices. Your zero carbon targets, uh, I think, may be aggressive, uh, but if you look, uh, you know, it's more, therefore it's more important uh, to you to guide and perhaps handhold uh, the MSMEs in achieving their ESG targets. Tengku Zafro was also invited to launch the CGC 100 Youth Entrepreneurship Programme, a collaboration between CGC and Pinta Foundation, which was founded by Kazana National Berhad and supported by the Education Ministry. CGC Chairman Datuk Muhammad Hussein says, CGC 100 intends to instill core values in the young that will hone their entrepreneurial skills and lead to better resilience. This program will emphasize developing new skills, upskilling, empowering existing youth skills, reskilling, and intersecting youth with other skills, cross skilling. The event coincides with CGC's 50th anniversary commemorating its success in assisting 360,000 MSMEs obtain over 90 billion ringgit in financing since its inception in 1972.